Hello, valued viewers. I hope you are all doing very well. Today, I'd like to demonstrate dive toss bombing with the F4E Phantom and Mark 82 Slicks. First, some control settings we will need. The only buttons we will need are the Jester context action to instruct Jester to lock the ground as we approach the target, and the bomb button, which will actually tell the bombing computer where on the ground we want the bombs to land. The actual release will be done by holding onto the bomb button and pulling up out of the dive, and the computer will instruct the bombs when to fall off the racks. The switchology is similar to direct bombing. Set the fusing to nose tail, select the stations, check the master arm, change the delivery mode to DT for dive toss, switch the weapon select to bombs. We can also change the interval to use a string of bombs. For this, I will leave it at 0.05 seconds. Lastly, we will change the HUD mode to air to ground. Now, bring up the bomb table to instruct Jester and the bombing computer what we are going to do. Change the delivery mode to dive toss DT. Select the correct bomb type. Put in a run-in speed you expect to use. It is not necessary to change the release altitude or the target altitude. However, you do need to specify a dive angle. Tell Jester to set up the necessary compute settings. Lastly, in the pattern, I left the release interval at 1 20th of a second, and I want the first bomb to fall on target, so there is nothing to update in this section. Close the bombing table with Control b or click the box in the upper right corner. Now we are ready to approach our target. Once established and stable, use the Jester Context button to tell Jester to establish a ground lock or capture. Captured. Once Jester has done the capture, the reticle will change to indicate the capture has been made. Maneuver the pipper over the target, press and hold the bomb button, and then gently pull up, and the bombs will release based on the computer-calculated release point. Release a string of bombs, change the interval, and then change the count on the number of bombs to be released, then reopen the bomb computer or the bomb table and set the new properties. In this case, in the pattern, change the release interval to match, select which bomb of the string to land on the target, and instruct Jester. He will make the necessary changes to the WRCS. This process is much the same as before. Jester context button. Okay, captured. Then line up the target. Gentle pull up. 